Hi, it's Jacob. I am making this video so I can hopefully help people who's got the same issue as I had with Forza Horizon 4 not loading. I used to play this game a lot. I finished all the races and challenges on the main island. After a break, I wanted to play the game again. When I started it, it was stuck on a loading screen. Nothing was happening when I was pressing start game button. I restarted the game and the computer many times, but it did nothing. I was looking on the internet for a solution and found many other people experiencing the same problem. I tried everything on the internet there was, but nothing, even the most complicated solutions, didn't work for me. The game was still stuck on a splash screen. At the end, I uninstalled the game and started to download it again overnight. All the 80 gigabytes. In the morning, I opened the game and when I pressed the start button, this time, syncing data screen popped up, but it was stuck on 0% for ages. I tried googling again, but nothing helped. I thought I lost hundreds of hours of playing. Then I remembered a while ago, when I got a new SSD, I moved all my games on it. I also changed the default installation location on the apps installed from Microsoft Store to that new partition. I thought maybe moving it back to partition C would help. First I changed default installation location back to C. To do that click start, then settings, then system, then storage in more storage settings section at the bottom click on the change where new content is saved link make sure it's set to C the same partition windows is installed on after doing that I moved horizon 4 back to partition C go to start settings apps apps and features and find Forza Horizon 4 if you click on it, you will see Move button. This function only works for apps installed from Microsoft Store. Move it to C. Once I've done all of that, I restarted the game and it worked. I don't understand why there is an option to move apps to different drives. Some of them work fine, some of them do not. I had a similar problem with Minecraft Bedrock and moving it back to C also helped. Anyway, I hope it helped some of you. If you had the same problem and my solution worked for you, let me know in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye!